Okay, I'm back with the uh, other part of this. Okay, you guys are probably saying, well, why doesn't he just put two magnets in a cylinder in repulsion? You know, when it goes down so far, it'll push it up. Well, because all you get is a spongy action. That's what I've done right here. It goes so far, you got a lot of compression, and it stops. Like, it's very, very weak. Doesn't really, it comes up, yeah. But as it comes up, uh, it goes so far and stops. It's, it doesn't have any real value. So I'm thinking, well, what if I had all kinds of magnets going up the side here? You know, I can like, uh, attract it up and pop it down into one zone and then just add a little energy to it and it'll fly right back up the other way. Well, how am I going to do that? How am I going to stick all these magnets on there? You know, like the spring idea is okay, but uh, it does do, it, it gives me a little bit of spring action, but there's, I know there's a better way. So I found out a better way. I thought about it and this is what I do. I take a stack of magnets. I fill it in like in my other video. So it's all say north on that side. So I, I fill it in. How do I fill it in? I take this piece of metal, shove it down in the cylinder. It's right down to the bottom now. Okay, let's get this in shot here. And with this is very picky. You have to have the right amount of magnets everywhere. One more magnet on top of here, it won't work. Another magnet on top of here, it'll work, but it won't work as good as with two. So right now, it won't go down. It takes pressure. It takes energy to push that down. But then once it gets past its point, past the center of the, uh, past the center down here, it gets attracted the other way. But when it gets pulled down the other way, what happens? Oh, there's my little repel guy on the bottom. Push me back up. So we have a wheel go around. It has enough energy just before it stops to push this down. It goes a little bit further and pops up. So, yeah, it's got some... Uh, happiness to it now so that's much better than the spring idea because now i'm just using solely magnets and there's no spring to wear out of course there's magnets to wear out but uh there's a plastic sh uh, sleeve here to wear out see that yeah, that's got some good because now it's it's repelling from the the ring magnet but the ring magnet has an opposite pole in the center so it, it, that's why when it goes down, it, sh it pulls it back up. So it's the point of the Quasimodo land, if you watch my other videos, is in the middle of this stack of magnets right here, in between here, north and south. And the Quasimodo land is in the middle of this stack of magnets. So at the point, like you don't have to have this all the way extended. You can have just, and right there, Right there, it's a, it's in the quasi modal land. It wants to go down, or it wants to go up, but it, so it gets pulled down, and it gets pushed back up. So yeah, there's a few kinks to be ironed out in this yet. Like for instance, this doesn't want to stay on centered. Goes right down. Let go. Flies back up. So just like in a piston, internal combustion in the engine, you have a downstroke and an immediate upstroke no fuel required however this could be emphasized in both positions by just using the coils that i have around this tube such as a solenoid you know you charge it you could you could put a pulse in it for one way you put a pulse in it to go the other way so using that plus a heavy wheel turning it in a radio or boxer engine design you don't need to get a full rotation on it Imagine one third of a magnetic stator, such as I have over here, not this one, but just say one third was small to big in attraction. Then the other third was small to big in attraction. The other third was small to big in attraction. Now it's going to go from the weaker magnet to the strongest one. And just as it gets almost to the strongest one, it compresses that piston. 
Okay, then it goes right to the strongest one, and boom, what happens? That piston fires off, and hopefully it'll have just enough energy to get that going in, in attraction mode again from the smaller to the big one. Another piston here. It does the same thing. Then boom, then it goes around to here. So in that configuration, I don't have to be going from smaller to biggest all the time and then hitting a brick wall saying, well, how do I get it to go past that and start again? So the key is in this upcoming design it'll be three of those pistons three of these working in a radio engine design off balance on the back with a couple magnets pulling it around in the front that will turn a flywheel just like just i'm just trying to mimic an internal combustion engine all they do is they they, they do have a compression and a fire off so anyways that's just a concept I wanted to, uh, you know, share. So that's what I'm working on. All right, guys. Talk to you later.